Hello there, I am Giant Grodel, and oh, do I have some explaining to do uh, with more Pokemon, um, Diamond, with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got through the whole Fuego Ironworks. We got the, uh, TM35 for, um, for the Flamethrower. We taught that to Inferno, and we also got, like, two Fire Stones and a couple other items. We battled some Iron Workers or workers there. And then we went to uh, a couple, like, three more specific spots that I forgot to cover. That I did cover in the last part, so that's good. Um, originally, I wanted Rose's uh, final move set to be um, Giga Drain, Poison Jab, Petal Dance, and uh, Grass Knot. But I accidentally got rid of Grass Knot, so I went through I went through the underground like for an hour and a half digging, and eventually, the first five minutes, I think I found a, a hard skill, but I didn't dig it up completely, so it it crumbled and got lost with the wall when it cr when it come crashing when it crumbled or whatever when it, when it got um when it like it got um when it collapsed basically yeah so um then I then I realized in an hour and a half later that um I found one in the underground finally and I successfully brought it to my bag and stuff I gave it to the movie learner uh move tutor that helps you relearn help you helps you Pokemon relearn moves but then I re but then I saw that you it doesn't help you remember TMs only uh moves you've forgotten that weren't TMs or t taught by a technical machine basically so that really stinks so I actually went back to the um just chose to use Matt to do Magic Leaf to uh, teach you Matt teach you Rosary and Magic Leaf so um its final move set will actually be Giga Drain, Poison Jab, Magic Leaf, and Petal Dance. So yeah, I don't like how I got rid of Return because Return wasn't really doing me much good. It wasn't really that powerful. It may have had to do with like, you know, Rosalia maybe hating me a little bit. I don't know. Its its power is based on how much it, the Pokemon likes its trainer, so that has to do with that, you know. But with that said, um like I wanna put that into perspective for you guys. Um I used the Explorer's Kit, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I was able to find, within an hour, uh, let's see here, I found uh, two Skull Fossils, a Blue Shard, a Green Shard, a Damp Rock, a Pearl was a, a Dowsing Machine item I found on Route 2 or 13 on the beach, um, a Spooky Plate I found uh, in the underground, an Earth Plate I found in the underground, and a Sunstone I found in the underground. I found all that before I found a Heart Scale. I think the heart scales are very uncommon because I spent an hour and a half down there in the underground digging and digging and digging and I couldn't find one to like an hour and a half. So I could have used that time to actually record more of this walkthrough guide. Uh, Redux or redo. Redo walk walkthrough guide redo. Redux walkthrough guide. There we go. Redo walkthrough guide. There we go. I said it right the third time or whatever. Uh, dang it. Okay, that tentacle bugged me. It didn't really hurt me, I just ran from it. So this guy has two Gyarados, and the reason why I wanted to keep Grass Knot was because I don't have an Electro-type Pokemon on my team, and I don't have a Pokemon that can actually learn Electro-type moves on my team through TM. Like, even when Bronze Wars- Bronze is gonna evolve after this battle, because I've had a I've had so many failed recordings of this. Because uh, I got- so, like, I got really upset because, like, I want- I want- I want, um, you know, Grass knot, but I can't have it, you know, because I already saved my game and everything, so I can't go back. Uh, outdoors, fishing for the win. Shouting doesn't help me my, my fishing any, but but shout I must. What? Bronzer was evolving? Yeah, I knew it, because I've seen this before. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying before, you know, Grass Knot does mo more damage um, the heavier the Pokemon is, and Gyarados is apparently pretty heavy. So, like, I could two-shot a Gyarados with two Grass Knots. But as you saw in that battle, it took me, like, three... Well, it took me, for the first Gyarados, two Magic Leafs, because the critical hit on the first Magic Leaf. So yeah. 
There's Brown Song. And then it took three, well, took two Magic Whiffs and a Giga Drain to faint the second Gyarados. So I'm really a bummer that Rose doesn't have, um, you know, Grass Knight anymore. And I will not teach Block to Bronzong. Bronzong. So yeah. So here's a Honey. So, I mean, Magic Whip is still pretty cool. It's 60 power. It has the same amount of power as um, Giga Drain. It has more HP, I think, than Giga Drain. And it um, never misses, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's what it says in its mood description. Let me see real quick. Okay, yeah. Um, this attack cannot miss. And it, it takes half of its tar uh, uh, ha inflicted HP and restores uh, itself, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be happy with Magic Leap. It has 20, yeah, 20 PP versus 10 PP for Giga Drain, so Magic Leap was a good replacement, even though I couldn't have Grass Knot, you know? I should be happy, you know, and I'll, I'll be happy, I guess. So let's put a repel on actually, so I won't run into any more Pokemon, because that would be bad. And the repels are, of course, all the way up there. Yeah, okay. Let's take on this fisherman dude right here. Yeah, yeah, nothing's biting. Okay, so I don't think I need a, a bronze to hold the experience share anymore, so I can give him back the audience since. So I'll just do that right now. There we go. Switched items, yes, okay. I want to check out who, all the held items for my Pokemon. Okay, Rose Instance, Fist Plate, Odd Instance, Luck Instance, po uh, Mystic Water, okay, and then Beaver, of course, yeah. So, um, let's move on, I guess. Let me just check the levels, too, because I forgot to check the levels. Oh, yeah, um, Inferno can definitely go up front, but I'm um, not for the next battle, though. Because, uh, oh, well, I can put Bronze up front, I guess. And we are close to the shore. There we go. This guy has, like, a Wingle and stuff. Maybe two Wingles, I don't know. I know he at least has a Wingle. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. Okay, so we can um, now switch to Inferno. And this is a rock star dude. I think it's like a Luxio. What's, what it rock? It's the rhythm of battle. Okay, so let's pick some berries, why not? And here's a figgy berry, so I'm like half asleep right now. 
Oh man, I'm tired. Okay, two pineapple berries. Okay, here's a, there's another honey tree, by the way. I don't think my pro off did it. No, it didn't. Okay, I thought that was the head. There's items down there. Okay, here is um, Don's father, actually. Steven, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm, I'm, the, I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I had chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. Steven, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. Was I supposed to put in the software here? Kaklunk, kaklunk. Uh, all done. I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how... It's been upgraded, shouldn't I? Sure, um, it can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. May I ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor was is concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Team Galactic. Make sure they don't cause any trouble. And I'll put, I'm gonna put... Karen up front and yeah I'm gonna s this is Canada Life City it's really nice music and stuff so you know I think if you go in this house you can get TM for skill swap maybe it's not the okay um oh yeah the oh, here's the move deleter apparently it's cool I guess and yeah here is um the house with the skills TM for skill swap hopefully yeah um, TM 48 yeah this is skill swap which is only useful if you have a, if your, your opponent's like a slacking or something with a really bad uh, ability or any Pokemon with a bad ability um, or with anyone with uh, yeah well I guess if you're if you have a slacking and you um, switch ability switch abilities with um, your opponent you won't have your sl the um, the ability that makes you only move every other turn so yeah it's pretty cool so let's just move on then I guess and let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal okay the last thing I want to do in this part is battle C Sam I almost said Cody haha <laughs> whoops Steven hey Steven Whoops, hey Steven, uh, you're going to challenge the gym leader up past tier A. Someone should check to see if you're ready for that for this challenge. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge. So you you're um hinting that you got the you're um hinting yeah hinting I guess is the right word that you got the gym badge huh okay. Here's a star Avia. His star we evolved finally yay. It's level 31. But my flying type hasn't evolved yet because the dust stone is in the um, Team Galactic Warehouse, but yeah. <laughs> but mine's, uh, my flying type's level 35. <laughs> Anyways, now. Let's see how much this does. Okay. Take down. Oh, it missed though. Haha. -ha. Sucker. Let's get his quick attack. Okay. Okay. I see your game, Sam. I see your game. You're playing Pokemon Sun right now. And you hate Pokemon Sun. No, you're playing Pokemon Moon. Because you got Pokemon Moon. Faint attack, go. Where'd my Murkrow go, baby? It attacked you. Okay, that's the story of you. Ponyta, okay. So I'll switch to Jetta. This Ponyta is going to go downtown. Going downtown. One one surf should faint this ponyta. Let's see how much this does. That one kills it. Oh, it's a critical hit too. Nice. Zelia. Okay. Um, we'll switch to, um, Inferno then. Your own Rosalia, nice. Soul 32, okay, cool. Let's use Flamethrower attack on this Rosalia.
Oh, I almost one hit KO'd it. Oh, it's gonna use Elite Seed, okay. Interesting. I see your game, Sam. Well, in that case, I'll just finish you off with the Flame Wheel then. There we go. Could have quite awesome. That should bring Inferno to level 33. There we go, yes. Primp up is next, okay. We'll use Rose then. My Rosalia. Five, your primp is level 35. Okay, so we'll use the Giga Drain on you. Ah, oh, I didn't want to kill it. Dang it. Oh well. Just oh, he's gonna. Oh, it knows Aerial Ways. I didn't know that. Way to cover your weaknesses, Cody. Or there we go with Cody again, like Sam. Jeez. So let's go for the magic leaf then. This should finish off this primple up. And there we go, nice. Oh, you have a hair cross, okay. So that means you can. Let's go Karen then. Again, Karen's gonna go out. This will be fun. Heracross is four times weak to flying type moves because it's bug and fighting type. It's only level 32. We can take this. We can take this. You know how you know the drill, Karen. Every waste attack. This should one hit KO it. And there we go. That's all she wrote. Yeah, we beat Turner Sam, Rival Sam. What just happened? You told me I lost? Yes, sorry you did. Thanks for the 7,000 Poké Dollars, though. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up, let me tell you who's gonna be, who's gonna take on the Pokémon League and become the champion. You guessed right, I'm going to be me, it's going to be me. Anyways, you should be able to take the gym leader from here. Gym leader here. Uh, hurry up and make, go make the challenge. Okay, okay. I'll do that in the next part. So, um, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on, uh, I think we're going to do Iron Islands first before the gym. Yeah. So Iron Islands might take two, two separate parts, but I don't know. Depends. I think it's going to take two parts, though, to cover the whole Iron Island. So, yeah. This has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you much again, again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. Next time, my Pokemon Diamond, we do walk the guide.